Hey, you read the title. Quick answer is, I don't think new players should upgrade their guns. I don't. You don't need it. Here's the lengthy answer. Let's preface it with, I put an emphasis on being good at the game over looking good while you play the game. I play to the best of my abilities. That's it. But it can also be stated for anyone that knows me, I'm sometimes too competitive for my own good. So that's why you don't see me play at my own field a whole lot, because it's just rental kids. It's not a lot of fun for me. Every weekend, every weekend, I see kids showing up with a new gun or some some standard gun, uh, let's say uh, like a combat machine, right? Like a standard Raider or whatever, and they've put all this money in, or they buy a DSG, or they buy an HPA, but they spend, let's say, up to 400 total on a gun plus upgrades. Or I will see kids spend that amount of money throughout like a length of time. So the, obviously the, like the Roseville Rockland area, I'm not seeing kids like, hi, it's my second time, I've got a full HPA setup. Usually it's kids that'll show up and they have spent every dollar they had either on their uniform or on upgrading their gun. Usually I see more with the kids that are upgrading their gun more so than the kids that are up, like spending money on a uniform. Usually it's, they don't really care about anything. It's just like, oh, I just want to look cool like a Call of Duty guy. Groovy, bro. That's cool. The problem runs in to when you start complaining about sucking. It's pretty common for a kid to come up and go, hey, I think that kid's cheating. I shot him a bunch of times. And then I'll look at his rifle. He doesn't have a magazine in it. But he spent a ridiculous amount of money on that gun because he thinks that that gun will make him better, not understanding that he doesn't even have the basic fundamentals of what you need to be good at a game before you start spending money on expert-level equipment or above beginner-level equipment. I don't think you as a new player, even in some cases as an intermediate player, need to spend any money on upgrades to a gun as long as that gun functions how it's supposed to what why do you need to spend money why why don't you just be better and stop sucking instead of dumping all this money into this gun that you're going to give to your friend the tech who's going to end up breaking it anyway if we can just sideline on that conversation real quick if you're looking to compete, that's a different conversation. But the average airsofter plays once a weekend and in a general play format. So they're not going to specialty games. They're not going to team nights. They're not going to speed nights. They're not doing they're not doing anything other than just playing against rentals. You don't need anything better than a box gun to go against rentals and casuals. You don't. I regularly give kids, intermediate, advanced level players, like seasoned competitors, regularly just let them play with a rental just because they get bored and they want to grab a rental and just shoot kids. And they wreck and they sweep and they get insane amounts of progress. on the. They'll get to the other end of the field with a rental gun because they don't suck most. Entry to sometimes intermediate level players think they need to think they need to spend money to be better it's not true this is also i will say this is also something that is seen in real firearms it was very common for me to teach an actual combat rifle class and i would have new shooters by new shooters i mean like they've only been shooting for a couple of years uh and I've had new shooters come up to a combat rifle class. And if you were to see the way they had tricked out their rifles, it was preposterous to see. Because they had put so much new handguards. Uh, they had different, tri they had competitive triggers. They had all these ergonomic grips on M4s that they weren't doing anything with. 
because they just wanted a great rifle. They didn't want a great, they, they were trying to get a great skill set, but it is easier to invest more in material things than to invest in yourself. Investing in yourself takes a long time. It is much faster just to buy things and put them in. You be like, oh, because my rifle is good, it is my rifle, therefore I am good. I had a dude uh, came to my rifle class with an M4, standard 16 and a half length M4, with a heavy barrel. And he never even shot farther than 100 yards with it. Sometimes he didn't even go to 100 yards, he said. Because I'd ask him, like, oh, how far do you... You got a heavy barrel in an AR in your M4. How far do you go? Sometimes about 100. Usually I just play around at 25. And why do you have a heavy barrel? Now, if, first of all, if you don't understand what a heavy barrel is in a real rifle, Google it. You're not a real shooter. It's okay. This is only going to, that analogy, that story is only going to frustrate real rifle shooters. You don't need a heavy barrel in an M4 16 and a half inch rifle platform if you don't even go beyond 100. I was doing dollar sized shot groups at 400 yards with the M4 out of my unit's armory with iron sights regularly. There's no reason to put enhancement parts in a gun if your skill doesn't catch up with your equipment. You don't really see kids turn 16, get their driver's license, and all of a sudden they're in the Indy 500. You see kids get fast sport cars, and what happens? They crash them because they don't know how to drive. Why do you think they called the Porsche Widowmaker? Why do you think they nicknamed it that? Stop spending money on things, invest more money in yourself, that's going to pay you dividends later in life anyway, to start understanding that principle. Dorks. Caber, who the f*** are you, nerd?